Okay, hello, welcome, Cabbage here. We are back with Elden Ring. And uh, earlier today I did a new uh, Lars account, uh, but we'll continue with Argo here. <laughs> okay, uh, last night we went through the uh, Lanedill capital. We beat uh, Godfrey, I think, or the spirit of Godfrey, and Morgut, right. <laughs> and so we are about to enter a new area. We can see here it's not mapped out, so that's pretty exciting. Okay, the Forbidden Area, maybe? All right, we came down uh, elevator from there, and I guess we got to go this way. <laughs> kind of hard to see anything. Uh, but I'll show my equipment. Let's see, I got the, uh, the Grand Sax uh, Lightning Bolt. Took that to uh, plus nine, so that's pretty strong. And then I respect my character again, <laughs> so that he could have enough dexterity to uh, wield this thing. And then with my stats, I gave him enough strength to hold the shield. I gave him enough uh, dexterity to use the spear. And then I gave him enough uh, arcane to use uh, Moog's great spear here. And this is what I'm using. And then armor. I'm going to go for uh, Radon's armor. Nice and heavy. <laughs> oh, Koi Monty. Hello. Uh, nice and heavy armor here. I, I've i heard that from Margit on uh, the, uh, what is it, the difficulty goes up. The uh, damage output goes up from uh, enemies. So makes me want to go back to the shield, put on the heavy armor. <laughs> and I think... I will get rid of this for now. I was experimenting with it earlier, but it makes you take more damage, so we'll get rid of it. Uh, I guess this one, raise a guard. Okay, let's go ahead, I guess. Oh, got the fat roll. Hang on. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh, maybe it's because I got rid of the, um, this one here to raise the, um, weight load limit. I don't think I have any other... Maybe this one? Oh, maybe this one? Let's try that. Nope. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll do Radigan's Sore Seal after all. Okay. Alrighty, let's go. I guess I'm just gonna follow it downhill. Oh, that's moving. No, it's a tree. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I got the statue. So. We were told by uh, Lani, the witch. No, by uh, Melika. No, Melina, Melina. <laughs> to uh, go to the uh, top of the mountains. Oh, I recognize you. Uh oh. Oh! Man, almost 3,000 damage. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, we were told by Melina to go to the top of the mountain. So I guess we'll do that. Oh, if anyone was wondering, I just finished uh, 
uploading my reaction to the conclusion of New Reincarnation. Uh, but I haven't made it public yet. Whoa! I'll do that uh, later tonight. <laughs> Yeah, I told myself that it was going to be a um, kind of a quick video, a brief video, but it turned out to be a whole thing. <laughs> oh, Xcon's here. Yeah, I got the uh, Grand Sax Bolt. We'll uh, try it out here. I'll show you my uh, build again. Um, but uh, Fexter Life, who makes the uh, the wiki, recommended these four talismans for uh, using with this spear. So. Uh, Radigan Source Seal for stats up, and then the Kalia something seal to lower FP cost, and then I got the uh, Shard of Alexander to raise uh, damage of skills, and then uh, some kind of Sword Talisman to raise the damage of skills when... no, raise the damage of attacks when my HP is full, so yeah. <laughs> we'll see how it works. Okay, that doesn't look like anything. <laughs> Koimani says, I just thought what would a Sarafa and Akeha interaction be like? What would their dialogue be like? Ooh. That's interesting. I feel like Akeha would be disinterested and Sarafa would be put off by that. <laughs> And maybe Akeha wouldn't believe in fortune-telling, either. I don't know. Exgon, would you like to know another useful talisman location in early place? Uh, sure. Oh, Zed, konbanwa. <laughs> Can I guess? Is it the turtle talisman? I still haven't picked that up. Somehow I missed it. <laughs> All right, let's keep the shield up. X gone, yes, okay. <laughs> what does that do? It raises, or it makes your stamina refill faster, I think. I should uh, look into that. Oh, let's ride the horse. What am I doing? Alrighty. Oh, but I can't use my shield. Well, whatever. Okay, that might be a cave, maybe? That looks more like the way to go. It's like a chloranthi ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that brings back memories. <laughs> yeah, I use that thing all the time. Uh, that doesn't look like a cave, no. Okay, let's keep going this way. Ah, you make me want to play Dark Souls 3. <laughs> oh, that's a shape. Oh, we can target it, alright. Let's fire a bolt. Okay. Oh, he's on a horse. Oh, it's a Knight Rider. <laughs> Whoa! Did he get around my shield somehow? Alright, let's go. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Don't fall off the cliff. <laughs> I want to fight you. Ah, not long enough. Whoa! Watch out, guy. Okay, got you. You are in love with that cliff edge. <laughs> Alright, lightning bolt. Okay. Oh, we can spam that, why not? 
first time uh, trying this Grand Sex Lightning Bolt out. <laughs> oh, out of FP. It's just as well. Counter, yeah. Guard counter. My uh, FP is very low. <laughs> like max FP. Is that it? All right. What do we get? Okay. Oh, uh, Phantom? Phantom attack? Oh, Starkey, hello. I had to fight your team in Arena last night. Can't believe you stooped so low as to use New Year's Sadafa. I thought you were above that. <laughs> I, I used the exchange medal for her, and then I just took her to max level yesterday. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to try her out. <laughs> Alright, Koimani says, get on your horse, joust. No, I like to fight them on uh, foot. And my window's back, what's up? I bet there's a way for him to fall off, yeah. <laughs> oh, Xgon says this is his favorite Ash of War. I'll try that out. Most of my points are in HP, yeah. I'm going for super tanky here. It's like Pontiff Sullivan's clone attack. Okay. I'll have to try that out. Oh, again, for people who just showed up, here's my uh, build. I uh, just got the uh, the Grand Sax bolt. We'll try that out. And shield and heavy armor. That's the menu for today. <laughs> Yeah, new spear is pretty cool. Let's uh, refill my FP. <laughs> I wonder if I want to put uh, points into mind to give me more FP to use with this spear. Is this the right way? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I don't want to fight those guys. Yeah, let's not. <laughs> I do want to cure this poison, though. Oh! Oh, that, is that an HP one? I don't really need that. Okay. Oh, I wish I had my Moog Spear right now for the AoE. <laughs> Ow! Okay. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, let's cure the uh, poison. Oh no! I don't have the uh, spell equipped. Oh well. <laughs> Oh, what? Alright. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll get rid of this bird. <laughs> and... Poison! Okay, great. I've just realized that you reached the mountaintops of the giants. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Uh, let's see. This is where I came from, but I just want to see if I missed anything. Whoops! <laughs> Almost fell to my death. No, I guess not. We'll keep going. Is 
So another save point, maybe? Oh, no. Is this another HP one? Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. Refilled my flask. Now I'm all turned around. Well, I guess I'll go up if we can. I wonder if, like, the direction of these uh, swirls are telling me where to go. Come on. <laughs> Alrighty. Koimani says, in War of the Visions, they just released the global popularity poll winner. Is it anyone that I know? Cool, cool, alright. This place was kind of scary on my first playthrough. Yeah, I sense that. <laughs> New Joom. Oh, cool, cool. How do people like the, um, what is it, another story? I remember liking them, all those characters. I guess it's still going. That's cool. Oh! We got a seed. Awesome. Oh! Oh, is that a magic one? Yeah, I need that, actually. <laughs> Alright. And refill that, thank you. I wonder why it's uh, refilling me so much. <laughs> There's another one. Whoa! Okay. Oh, Zed says you got her in a free 10-pull ticket. Very cool. It's better than the regular story. Okay, cool. <laughs> Way better than the main story. Interesting. Okay. I don't know if anyone remembers this, but I uh, I uh, complained very early in the life of War of the Visions that they didn't put enough effort into uh, world building. Like history or mythology or maps, you know, geography and all that. I'm assuming that they still haven't done that. <laughs> But Elden Ring here has it in spades. They did it right, which is why, you know, this world feels so much richer and uh, more interesting and more real. No, they haven't. Yeah, not surprised. <laughs> Every time that they did, a, they did a, a player survey for War of the Visions, I would write, you know, maps, please, history, please. <laughs> They never added it. Whoa! Okay. Boss. Okay. Is that it? Oh, Gargoyle. Come on. I don't want to fight you. Alright, we'll dismount. Whoa! Whoa! Screw you. Lightning bolts. Okay, that's decent damage. Oh, come on. Ooh, big damage. Lightning bolts. Ow. Oh, come on. Jeez. Yeah. 
<laughs> Gargoyles probably the strongest enemies are not that aren't actual boss fights. Yeah. I uh, try to avoid them when I can. <laughs> Well, let's try, let's try the, uh, the guard counter. His attacks might be so strong, though, that, uh, just break my guard instantly, but we'll see. <laughs> Alrighty, grab my runes. Okay, let's go. Yeah, no guard counter on that, for sure. Okay, that would have been possible, but he was too far away. <laughs> oh, missed him. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, I guarded that, actually. Okay, okay. <laughs> nope. Knock me down there. Nope, missed. Ooh. Nope. Definitely didn't guard that. Ah, too far away. Ah, broke my guard. <laughs> Ooh. guard. Ah! Whoa! Somehow, no damage from that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, I'm out of healing. <laughs> ah! Alright, screw your lightning bolts! Huh? <laughs> okay, shield not working. Uh, Zen says, I think you would like the new old Oa design. She has pants this time. <laughs> I I saw it. She's wearing like full armor, plate armor, I think it was. Another the story fest banners are just value. Okay, interesting. Okay. Ah, uh, I might want to give up on the shield. Maybe uh, two hand the spear, get some more damage in there. I was having maybe medium success dodging, so maybe we can try that. Oh, don't mention Abyssal Argo to me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, let's ditch that. Let's change this. Uh, uh, more poise? Do we need more poise? No, we got plenty. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. 
jumping attacks, maybe? Charge attacks. Oh, this will raise uh, healing of my uh, flask. That might be good. Yeah, we can try that. Okay. Oh, and I have my uh, super potion. <laughs> Always forget about this. Okay. Oh, and summons too. Let, let's see if I can beat him solo first. Here we are. Now let's grab my uh, runes. Ow! Well, there goes my potion. <laughs> Whoa! God. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I think stomp attacks are my least favorite attacks that bosses do in this game. <laughs> I think I need to stay in the more uh, open area. I also shouldn't prior prioritize getting my uh, runes back so much either. <laughs> okay. Double hand in that, we'll drink that. Let's try summoning these uh, marionettes. Alrighty. Lightning bolts. God. How do you dodge that? <laughs> All right, lightning bolts. Oh, I'm out of magic. <laughs> Hang on real quick. What? Uh. Oh, come on. I dodged laterally. <laughs> Lightning bolt! Whoa! Oh, come on! Okay, lightning bolts! Uh oh, there goes my guy. Oh, stomp! Hate it! No! Put. Uh oh. Uh oh. Lightning bolt. Put. Oh, come on. Ugh. <laughs> oh hey 
Gargoyle's Twin Blade, I think. And Gargoyle's Axe. Great. <laughs> Alright, this Grand Sax is pretty fun. Uh, let's see. Might have to go for hit and run approach here. I felt pretty good kind of like sitting under him. Starkey says, so how do you feel about the end of reincarnation? I just uploaded the video, uh, but I haven't made it public yet. Maybe I'll do that after this uh, live stream. Uh, but I did like it a lot. Uh, with the marionettes, it seems easier, yeah? Oh, Space Cat. Hello, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's get that uh, shield back on. Whoops. I think that was my first gargoyle I've ever beat. <laughs> I've run away from all of the other ones, so that's cool. I'm curious about what this thing is. It does kind of look like we're uh, at a castle, though. That's a, a similar, um, what do you call it, statue that was in front of the, uh, the capital. So I wonder if this is like another city. Oh, it might be an elevator. <laughs> it was in front of the elevator that had the, uh, the big horses statues. Okay, ice, grease. Okay, nothing much around here. Oh, M. Kage, hello, good evening. Starkey says that black gargoyle and Kaelid by where you farm the ruin on the little guys. He's brutal. Go back there. No, thank you. <laughs> no, I avoid him every single time. All right, let's check out the other side. Nothing here. No, I guess nothing here. Okay. I gotta say, I'm always really excited to do these uh, live streams. I am loving this game. And it's fun to talk to you guys. <laughs> Okay, similar architecture to the front of uh, Lanedale. And save point, all right. Okay, this looks familiar, another elevator. Uh, Starkey says, I've seen your character build runs for this, and it's kind of wild how deep you can go into the game right from the beginning. Yeah, that was part of the reason why I did them, was just to see how deep we could get. <laughs> Turns out, fairly deep. And that's typically with no bosses, or like, just the boss to uh, get the weapon or whatever. Sorry, I gotta upgrade my uh, flask. Okay. All right, let's talk to the finger reader. Hello. You, please, I can read them. Your fingers, please, your fingers. Turn back. Ahead lies the land of the giant's flame, and the way forth is forbidden. <sighs> Hear me, 
The burning of the Erd Tree is the first cardinal sin. Doing so will unbind destined death and slay the world itself. Who would dare put you up to such a task? Most certainly not the fingers. How does she know what I'm going to do? <laughs> I guess she sees it in my fingers. All right, let's go. Did I meet Millennia? No. She's kind of hidden. Well, if I meet her, I'll meet her. Uh, M. Kage asks, I'm very curious to see which way you take your Akeha build. I have a similar build on my main Elden Ring account. I'm thinking... I was looking at the uh, katanas. Some of them have, like, intelligence scaling. Maybe I would want to make her a, um, like, a pyromancer. She has a lot of uh, fire versions in reincarnation, so doing the katana with the fire magic, that might be cool. Okay, next elevator. I started watching some videos uh, on YouTube about lore by um, Kulag. She uses uh, Jamboard, maybe? <laughs> but she'll take like uh, like different pieces of uh, lore from the game and put them into uh, kind of groupings and kind of scroll around and talk about it at the same time. Very deep stuff. The Magic Katana build is pretty fun. Okay. Yeah, I want to try that. I want to also just try Pyromancies in this game using somebody, so it might as well be her. If you keep exploring like that, you should meet her at some point. Okay, cool. Oh, I got a lot of souls. I should uh, level up. <laughs> oh, we're pretty high now. Right, above the clouds. They did say that. Crazy. Oh. <laughs> okay. Beast blood. Whoa. Whoa, very high up, yeah. <laughs> we got a guy up there, maybe? And another guy? <laughs> yeah, Land of Giants is a little intimidating. Yeah, mountaintop of the Giants. Oh, is that a map? And a save point over there. Perfect. Okay. A very long and skinny map. <laughs> okay, so this was the, uh, the cloudy area. Yeah, that was pretty straight. Elevator. Okay, cool. Ur tree, a telescope, okay. Uh, my window asks, are you a hoarder of random materials or do you sell them all to merchants like me? Uh, in the game? You're asking? Uh, I don't really use consumables if that's what you're asking. I like Vati Vidya. Yeah, I watch him too sometimes. 
Do you think your experience with this or other Souls games would change if you played a specific character they designed versus making your own? I think so. I think I would still enjoy it. But it's the RPG aspect of it that really, really appeals to me. I was thinking how the sense of scale is incredible, but it feels enhanced because it feels like an extension of you in the game. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I hadn't thought about that, but maybe I do feel more invested because it's like a, uh, a character that I built, designed. Uh, what starter class? I used the one that came with the halberd. <laughs> the vagabond, I think it was. Uh, I wanted to do only spears and halberds with this build, uh, but I ended up just using all spears, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I put all my halberds into the, uh, the box. Don't use them anymore. Okay, save point. Hello. Okay. Uh, level up. What do we want? Mm. Oh, more... FP for Lightning Bolt? <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll get that. Alrighty. And put some things in the box. Like you and you and you. Okay. Oh, that uh, Phantom. Phantom uh, attack. Let's try that out. Here we are. Elden Ring really messed up my expectations for games in a good way. Yeah, there's a part of me that wonders if this is going to be the last video game I'm ever going to want to play. <laughs> it's that good. My favorite weapons in the game are probably the halberds. Yeah, they're pretty darn good. Oh, part of my lore. Interesting. Interesting way to look at it. I've been uh, liking... Uh, whoa! Is that Yura? Hi there. I thought you died. What? <laughs> Finally, we meet the tarnished. Who would be lord? Oh my... Why the long face? I fear that you were previously acquainted with this vessel. Well, that is most unfortunate. For he is dead. As for his flesh, he gave it to me. Shabriri, I hope you can make your peace with that. Mm, no, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> You are about to sacrifice something precious. The life of a fair maiden. That you would toss into the fiery forge. Only so that you may be lord. What a horrible thing to ponder. Your ascendancy requires her sacrifice. Whether she wishes it or not. But how would the lord crown so be looked upon? Oh. That's my first time hearing that. Okay, let's talk to him one more time. Chosen, tarnished, and would be lord. Dare to tread the path of true rigor. Spare the poor girl. And singe your own flesh in her stead. If you are prepared to show resolve and attain lordship through righteous hardship, then heave the words of I. 
Shabriri. Interesting. Okay. So maybe there's a choice later. Either sacrifice her and become king, Elden Lord, or sacrifice myself and save her, I guess. <laughs> oh, Fire Flower, all right. Well, like I said before, I want to be Elden Lord, so... <laughs> Body snatchers, yeah. <laughs> now let's continue on. Oh! Who is that? Oh, is that the, uh, the gravity guy? He's not so... Oh, no, no, no. This is a frost guy. I remember him. And this place is called Za Zamieru. Zamieru Ruins. Okay. Well, I want to investigate those other ruins. We'll come back to the guy later. <laughs> Oh, there's another one. Okay, so he's not a boss, just a enemy. <laughs> All right, looking for the basement as usual. Oh, there's another one. Two of them. <laughs> Going stealth mode in Radon's armor. <laughs> Zamiel's ice storm? That's cool. Oh, there's the basement. Alright. Well, let's see if we can kill this guy. Ah, uh, no, never mind. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna dash for the basement. Oh my god. Okay, not a boss door. Treasure chest. Oh! Yeah, the, uh, the bell bearing, good. I think it's the silver? I don't know. We'll check that later. Sadly, I don't really need that anymore. <laughs> A lot of my weapons are... leveled up pretty much where I want them. These spirit animals are pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, do I have the uh, fat roll? Yeah. Uh, oh, the shield. That's right. Well... What should we do? Yeah, we'll do that. Stories you make for yourself with the game are the best. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
All right, let's continue on. Yeah, the uh, idea for uh, Poison Argo came from a uh, commenter. And it really kind of became its own thing. <laughs> and then, like, the, uh, the flowers attached to this Argo kind of grew out of that. Okay, I think maybe we've seen the limits of this place. Maybe we can uh, continue up here. Oh, I need to go this way? Okay. Uh, let's maybe go over here. Treasure. Okay. And let's see what's over here. Oh! Catacombs. Hello. Oh! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Is that just an animal? No, it's an enemy, okay. Ow! Jeez! Ow! Finally! <laughs> Alright. Majestic bird, but... Loa. Oh, I didn't even look where the uh, catacombs are. <laughs> uh, up there, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're climbing the mountain. Okay. That's another one there. <laughs> Alright, lightning bolts! <laughs> Oh, miss! Come on. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Oh, it even sounds like snow when you walk on it. That's cool. <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll check out this first. Is this a back way? Oh, that goes all the way out there. Okay, okay. Well, let's uh, see if we can come up here first, then. Crazy. Alright, you made me waste my FP. <laughs> ah! Ow! Combo. <laughs> okay.
<laughs> Even the trees are spirits? That's pretty funny. That reminds me, I need to uh, make a video someday about um, the uh, kind of the Japanese belief system about like uh, deities, you know, what is a god according to the Japanese. And it wouldn't be so strange to them for a uh, tree to have like a spirit or a soul. <laughs> But yeah, now that uh, reincarnation is over, we kind of get a uh, better sense of like what the game is trying to say overall. What are its, you know, biggest messages? And so for that reason, it'll be easier to sort of uh, analyze it. Compare it to, uh, you know, automata, replicant, whatever. Oh, there's another one. Ow. Now let's check the uh, comments. I read that you can mod the game to have a co-op throughout the whole game. I heard that. What is it called? Seamless or something? Would make it a very different experience. I agree. It would be more like Dungeons and Dragons, wouldn't it? <laughs> Uh, Space Cat asks, is this better or Zelda? Mm, I think I gotta pick Elden Ring. I really, really enjoyed Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. But there's no, like, character building aspect in that game. You just collect all the stuff that everybody's gonna collect, and then you're on your way. Which is cool, you know, that's been Zelda since forever, and I wouldn't want it any other way, I think. But yeah, the, uh, the, the character building, the customization, is what I've always loved about uh, the Dark Souls games. Okay, don't mind me. <laughs> Crazy! Look at this! Good grief! Ooh, I really want that, but... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, yeah. Nobody's following me, alright. Is this a bridge? Or a wall? That's crazy. Uh, I will say, though, that I really, really like the story in Tears of the Kingdom. And then one of my favorite things to do last year was to watch other people watch the story. Look at their reactions. <laughs> it was so well done. So well done. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, no more talking. <laughs> We got a sniper on our hands. Oh, right there, yeah. Run, 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 run. Okay, safe. Well, should we try to take him down? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, not that I need the uh, fat roll or anything. 
Alright, let's try this. Huh. Oh, he's got a lot of HP. Holy. <laughs> Let's try that again. Ah, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Stop stomping. Okay, no? Are you done? Here you go. How do you like that? Go, 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 go. <laughs> crazy, crazy spear. Big bow. Cool. <laughs> uh, what about Sekiro? Never played it. But I watched a uh, playthrough of it. I don't know if I'm going to play that game. Ooh, Streets of Rage. Golden Axe. Oh my goodness. They don't make many co-op games these days, yeah. Uh, Joy Costa's here. Yes, back to Argo. That was just a, a one-off for Lars. <laughs> oh, Mr. Munoz is here too. Hi. Alrighty. Uh, we were trying out this one, the uh, the Grand Sax bolt. So we'll go back to that. And we are climbing the uh, mountaintops of the giants. Whoa, is that a... That's a big guy. That's wild. Okay, more runes. Uh... I guess we'll go left. Okay, nothing here. Where is that? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I saw people talking online about uh, consumables and like, uh, you know, some people use them, some people don't use them. I saw one person saying, I'm saving them for a new game plus 200. I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Oh yeah, alright. <laughs> I don't think I need any more of those either at the moment. That's a girl? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yesterday playing the arena in New Reincarnation, I was dropping the rank even winning. What? That's crazy. 
Was it very, um, competitive? The only consumables I used were poison and rot arrows, yeah. here okay there might be a hint <laughs> they want me to drop down somewhere no I don't see anywhere Maybe this way. Ah, here we are. Oh, save point. All right. Is there another creepy NPC here? <laughs> Couldn't be bothered to use any consumables unless I'm stuck on a boss with a specific weakness. Okay. Right. I use the uh, the poison swamp stuff. Nope. Starkey says my daughter wants to know what your favorite things to do in Japan are. Uh, I like hiking. Nature is very beautiful here. I like shopping for used cameras and watches. <laughs> I think the top guys were climbing with faster clears. My team was too slow. Yeah, that was something that I was uh, considering. Like, how can you build a fast team for that uh, New Year's Sarafa meta? I don't like playing in fast forward mode. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> well, Starkey, please tell your daughter hello. Oh, we could uh, talk to um, Melina. Let's see what that's about. There is something I'd like to say. My purpose was given to me by my mother, but now I act of my own volition. I have set my heart upon the world that I would have, regardless of my mother's designs. I won't allow anyone to speak ill of that. Not even you. Okay. <laughs> Fine by me. She didn't specify what her uh, wishes are, though. <laughs> I wish to go to Japan someday. Pretty difficult to live there, though, right? Uh, yeah, it is difficult to live here. But, like... I'm from the States. I felt like living in the States was too normal. When I live here in Japan, you know, it's a little bit challenging every day. And, like, that... matches me more, somehow. Oh, making them breakfast before school. Very cool. <laughs> uh, Joy Costa asks, what spear is this? This is the, uh, the Grand Sax Lightning Bolt. Oops. Uh, there it is. Uh, but I guess it's uh, part of a dragon, or like a dragon used it. I just took the, uh, the end part of it. <laughs> A 
and uh, we'll see if we can target this guy. It can shoot lightning bolts. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Alrighty. Well, let's go up here. Oh. Oh, that's another golem? Okay. We haven't seen any actual giants yet, have we? <laughs> well, where are we now? Okay, we can go left or right. Uh... Well, this is pointing this way. So I guess let's go left first. All right, we'll run around you. Very quiet here. In the way that it sounds, of course, but also just like it's not like moving very much. It's cool. Oh! As soon as I say that, <laughs> the noisiest enemies appear. Bats, okay. We've got kind of a battlefield here, it looks like. Whoa. What? Come on. Alright, gotcha. <laughs> I like buying used games. Yeah. But... Yes, I agree. <laughs> but for FromSoft, I'll make an exception and I'll buy everything new if I can. Because I do want to support these guys. These games are pretty good. Uh, we'll do the jump later. I want to look at what's over here. When I was in uh, college, I had a, a PlayStation 2. It was fun to uh, look through the uh, used games that they had there. Sometimes I would get games just because they were cheap. <laughs> I'd bring them home. Sometimes they were like hidden gems, sometimes they were nothing much. <laughs> but that was part of the fun, was the uh, discovery. Uh, Traveler's Virgin's Hood. Oh, and complete set. Okay, cool. Okay, I guess we'll do that jump. I remember one game that I got for uh, PlayStation 2 that was just bizarre and also like cheap used was called uh, Disaster Report, I think it was called. It's kind of like a uh, survival horror game, but uh, instead of 
trying to survive zombies. You're trying to survive earthquakes. <laughs> very unique game. It was very cool. You had to uh, solve puzzles and like um, manage resources and like dodge falling debris and all that. <laughs> Disaster report. If you can somehow play it, I can recommend that. Oh, is that a shopkeeper? Okay. Hello. Is someone there? A customer? Well, how long has it been? Okay. Oh, frost balls. That might be good. Oh, cookbook. We'll get that. Oh, is this a Vagabond set? Yeah. <laughs> Lightning Big Bolts. Okay. Well, I always say that I can use more of these, but I already have 15, so I don't know if I need more. <laughs> oh, Full Metal Saber says, hello, hi. Thank you for watching. Oh, yeah. Used game store shut down. That's too bad. Well, I guess that's it from this guy. <laughs> oh, was I there already? Yeah, okay. And big bridge there. You know, at first I was looking at this area, just the map, and I was like, oh, this isn't so big, but it's actually kind of big. <laughs> it's kind of like layered on top of itself. Very vertical map, so yeah, it's cool. I think we, yeah, we jumped up here, so let's, uh, oh, let's go to the right. Let's see what's up here. Oh, that's that bridge I was talking about, yeah. Okay, got some ruins here. Uh, star-gazing ruins, maybe. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, great. Ow. Man. They were not kidding when they said everybody does more damage. <laughs> uh, my window asked, do you have the jellyfish summon? Yes, I do. Haven't used it in a while, though. Looking for the basement. Hmm? Where did you go? Oh. You promised me when we turn fourteen, we go to see the stars. Okay. My window, that was like 
30 seconds before, but that still counts as a spoiler, so I wish you, you would refrain from doing that. You promise me when we turn 14, we go to see the stars. Well, I guess I use the jellyfish summons, huh? Oh, they are sisters. No time to waste. Let's see the stars. Whoa. It says a uh some kind of seal was opened. And we got a gesture. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yes, you did spoil something. Try not to let it happen again. Alright, basement. Let's go in here. Awfully dark in here. I'm always scared it's going to be a warp. What is this? It says it's a blade, but it's also a talisman. <laughs> uh, hmm? Oh, here it is. Let's see, magic and incantations, is that right? Magic and incantations. When I use FP, my max HP goes down? That sounds terrible. <laughs> All right, we won't use it. Oh, Raven Givens is here, hello. I put a hundred hours into the game, and this is the first time I'm seeing this. <laughs> the uh, area? I wonder if this area is um, required. I'm on top of this uh, hill here, I guess. Uh, I'm still missing the uh, turtle talisman. <laughs> Whoa, more bats. All right. Well, I guess we'll go over the bridge. way? Yeah, let's go over the bridge here, I guess. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. You gonna shoot me with a laser? <laughs> oh, boy. Whoa, a different boss? Okay. A uh, bird of death or something. Oh, I fought one of you in the uh, Lake of Lyanya. Ow! Whoa! Oof. 
Okay, I'm getting off the horse. <laughs> Ow, good grief. Okay, finally close enough. <laughs> Jeez! What even happened? <laughs> Hello, hope you're well. I am well, thank you. Oh, a death bird. <laughs> hmm. That boss. Well, we got the uh, the lightning bolt. Maybe we should try that out. Okay, where are we? Okay. <laughs> kind of far away from where we were, but that's cool. Let's see here. Well, I guess we'll... Try the boss again. I can't do the lightning bolt on uh, horseback. All right, lightning bolts. L lightning bolts. Okay, working so far. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good God! Strong boss. <laughs> I like hearing the many accent or sense uh, accents of English used in the game. Seems that a lot of games love the British accent. Yeah, uh, Americans like the British accent. <laughs> It sounds more uh, refined, it sounds uh, older, you know, kind of like more classic. I think you can also charge the weapon art for damage. Right, 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 okay. Uh, Starkey asks, what are Cabbage's tips for success on YouTube? Oh, you have a channel. I should check that out. Well, depends on what you define as success. <laughs> I feel like one of the um, one of the bigger indicators of success is longevity. I have been considering making a video about uh, YouTubing someday. Yeah, screw you. See ya. <laughs> But yeah, like, what is, you know, what is success to you? Is it uh, making a living off of uh, doing YouTube? Or is it like what I think? Is it longevity? Whoa, there's a ton of these guys. My God. Get me out of here. <laughs> Oh, and the boat guy. This place is jam-packed. Screw all y'all. I am out of here. <laughs> uh, getting back to uh, YouTube. Uh, another goal you could have is like if you want to serve a particular audience 
or you want to um, you know cover a particular event or ooh big old castle like I feel that uh, YouTube is just a medium and like you should have something to say before you come to YouTube I think it's fine, you know, to come to YouTube and say like, okay, I'm going to succeed at this. How am I going to accomplish that? But I feel like it's much more natural if you have something to say first and then look for like an outlet. And if it happens to be YouTube, then that's great. And that will really lead to, uh, you know, finding motivation to uh, keep making videos. Longevity again. But yeah, it's pretty easy to uh, burn out doing YouTube. Just last year, a lot of big names quit YouTube because they're just over it. <laughs> okay, let's look at the uh, comments. I definitely like to get some additional income from it one day, but really, yeah, I want longevity and connecting with an audience that I don't see being reached in photo YouTube. Interesting, yeah. If you have, like, a unique angle, that's awesome. And uh, needed as well. I wanted to compliment my photography, sometime, something that people who already like my work can dive deeper into, yeah. Well, let's see. What is the photography YouTube that I've seen? I haven't watched a lot, but, like, I see the ones where, like, it shows um, how they travel, you know? They go to some distant uh, locale. And they hike and they camp, you know? <laughs> Take a picture of a lake or that kind of thing. Yeah. So, so behind me is a castle, right? And then on the right is another castle? <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll go to the right. Uh, despite that crazy area with a bazillion bosses, I I'm enjoying this area. Uh, this does not look frozen. Or is it? No, it is frozen. Okay. Cool. Very cool. <laughs> We're still going to go around. Why do you think many large creators are over with YouTube? I don't know. I haven't watched any of their videos. Uh, I see some of them saying that they're tired. But I don't know what they're tired about. I've made some videos of, for YouTube about my hobby of making scale models. More to myself to record the process, yeah. I abandoned it. Too much work. It is a lot of work. <laughs> and that's another reason why doing video games is easy, because like a lot of the work is done for you. But if you were doing models, or if you were doing fashion, or anything where like you're showing off like something physical, you got to think about the camera and the lighting, and and if you're doing it all yourself, you know you gotta run in front of the camera and run behind the camera. <laughs> so I think having a cameraman would be very helpful for that sort of a YouTubing. But yeah.
Okay, I cannot see anything. <laughs> Hope I don't fall off the uh, cliff. What? Can't see anything. Oh! Oh my god! Not now. Okay, I kind of see something. A dragon? Oh my god. No, thank you. This place is crazy. Okay, I can see now. <laughs> run, 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 run. Although, if I can see now, maybe I can fight him now. Alrighty, let's go. Yeah, this familiar dragon soundtrack. Oh, tail swipe. Yikes. Run, 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 run. Jumping in the air, no breath. Ooh. Okay, stomp. I don't like it. I don't have my raisins equipped. Hang on. Hang on there a second, buddy. <laughs> okay, raisins. Raisins, raisins, here we are. Okay, one more. Whoa! Okay, I think we're good. Oh! Other way. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sad that I can't throw the lightning bolts while I'm riding the horse. Oh, crap. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I should have known. Big flat area. Should have known there's going to be a dragon here. Run, 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 run. Run. Okay. Huh. Oh, tail swipe. Ah, I should have jumped. Okay, raisin time. Huh. Whoa, what was that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no! Oh, my horse is dead. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! Haha, <laughs> I jumped over it. Alright. <laughs> okay, let's do some summons. Okay, archers. Whoa! Yikes. Ay, 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 Oh, no, no, no. Oh, come on. I wonder if he was using that because of the uh, archers. <laughs>
Seems like it's so hard to keep an audience because the curated feeds of other social media. I wonder. Are you talking about like the uh, algorithm? I don't want to do YouTube for a living because once you take money you need to deliver the numbers and that's a lot of pressure. Yeah, I agree it's pressure. Uh, Joy Costa says, cool boss? Yeah. I, I love all the dragons in this game. My window says my dream is to be a travel YouTuber. That would be cool. The For You page was the epitome of that curated feed. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, looking at the history of YouTube. Like, there didn't used to be a main page. <laughs> But now it's kind of the thing that most people spend the most time on, rather than like their subscriptions list. Uh, yeah, the shorts are annoying. <laughs> I love using torrent to fight dragons. Yeah, me too. Okay. I like the spears on horseback because they have more reach than a lot of other weapons. Okay, where are we? Oh, we're back here, alright. Uh... Huh. Well, I guess we'll uh, go down this river and turn right. See what's there. Is that right? Yeah, okay. We'll uh, save the dragon for later. I don't think my setup was really right to do a lot of damage to him, so... <laughs> I'll uh, think about how to do that later. Beautiful lighting. As usual, Elden Ring. <laughs> Got a seed over there. Let me guess, that guy over there standing up? <laughs> Alright, very cool. Yep, how did I know? Oh, pardon me. Oh! Let's get out of here. Alright. <laughs> Got some... Oh! Uh, we can break this, this statue. Uh, and by we, I mean the giant can break the statue. <laughs> eh, we'll worry about that later. It's probably weapon upgrade materials, and I'm pretty happy with mo where my weapons are, so we can leave that for later. Okay, save point. I saw people complain that the late game like this was too similar and repeated bosses, but it was such a different vibe. I also enjoyed traversing it. Yeah, I don't have a problem with repeated bosses. Either it's for a good reason, like the Knight Riders, or the, like the dragons here, or they, uh, or they have like different attacks or uh, weaknesses or something, so yeah, I don't have a problem with it at all. <laughs> Okay, got the telescope. Sometimes it's almost a relief when you get a repeat boss, because if it's one that you're pretty good at, then you can feel good about going in there and maybe getting a uh, smooth clear. Alright, let's head for uh, Castle, I guess. And we'll uh, go around the dragon. <laughs> yeah, lots of bosses up here, though. That's cool. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, is this a cave? Hey, hey. I love caves. Alrighty. Uh, fog? Fog cave, maybe? Some uh, moss, maybe? Cave moss? And what do we have here? Oh, is that the uh, the snail that summons spirits? <laughs> I remember that guy. Oh, Johnny White. Uh, Johnny Wright, hello. Yeah, Bold of Grand Sacks. Just picked that up uh, the previous... Or in between the uh, previous two uh, live streams. This is one of the weapons I've always wanted to try to build around. Yeah, I'm trying it out. It's fun, the uh, throwing the lightning bolt. <laughs> okay. Well, let's fight this snail, I guess. Ow! Alright, does that kill the other guys? Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Well, left or right? Oh, right's nothing. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, left. I see treasure. Lots of treasure. Runes. Runes. And rune something. <laughs> okay. tunnel. <laughs> what have we here? Oh, okay. Gotta find the snail. I think that's it there. Okay. Is that the sound of a summon disappearing? <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, that is not a snail. Lots of wolves. Oh, boy. okay, here we are. Take this. Okay. We got a set. Oh, that might be like a Japanese set. Oh! Okay. Is that everybody? Okay, excellent. <laughs> this is a very unique looking cave. It's got some uh, vegetation down here. That's cool. Okay. Let's check the comments. Have you ever seen How To with John Wilson? He does a faceless-ish documentary style. No, but I will look that up. 
the reason why I do faceless is just because I'm lazy. <laughs> if you look at my early YouTube videos, all of them have my face in them. But I just got... Uh... Yeah, it was more effort than I wanted to put in. How do people feel? Would people prefer if I put my face into more videos? Uh, M. Kage and my window says they use this set. Yeah, the Radon set. Or, uh, I'm sorry, the one that you just picked up. Let's uh, try that on, actually. Uh, which one was it? This one? And this one, and this one. Oh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's very Japanese. Interesting, okay. Well, I'll try to get this uh, for Akeha when I do her run. Very cool. Okay, people say they have no preference. If it's too much effort, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I get it, you know? I mean, with a face, you know, it feels like... Um, I understand how some people can feel like more of a connection to that. And then I say that I don't put in my face because, you know, it's too much trouble to uh, set up the camera and then, like, um, you know, be conscious of my expression or whatever as I'm doing. But I also believe that um, in radio, in podcasts, there's something different about just the uh, voice that somehow makes it feel more personal in a way. I don't know I don't know what you call it. There's like a term for it or something, but <laughs> the theater of the mind, is that what it is? But something special I think is there when it's just the voice. Maybe people that listen to a lot of podcasts know what that is. Okay. I do not know what this boss is. We have no souls, so I don't feel bad about going in. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Oh, the uh Godskin? Whoa! He does not stagger. Whoa! Break my guard. Oh, I got the fat roll! What's on? <laughs> okay. We'll try to beat him with fat guard. Or er, fat roll. He is not staggering. Ow! Come on. Lightning bolt. Whoa. Okay, you're done. <laughs> ah, why did I pick that timing to do the heal? Whoa! He's all long. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. No, thank you. Lightning bolt. Oh, come on. Lightning bolt. Huh. Okay, lightning bolt's not great against bosses, maybe. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 not this. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, I was not prepared for that fight.
If the content connects, it's not necessary to be so front facing, but it's nice to know what people look like. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm very on board with, you know, showing your face. I got nothing against people that show their face in content. It's just a, a convenience thing for me. Would be nice seeing your first time reaction to certain things. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Also, it's kind of rare in Japan for uh, content creators to show their face. I would say the majority of them are just kind of uh, voice, you know? People are pretty big about uh, protecting their privacy here. That's not really a concern for me, but just something I'd point out. And my window says, every time you drink from a flask, he will throw something at you. Okay. Is it reading my input? <laughs> Good at dodging. Input reading. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've kind of gotten a sense of that. Like, I should wait to heal when they start doing some other kind of action. Alright. Uh, let's see. Do I want to stick with the shield? I don't want to use the Grand Sax, that's... Oh, let's try the uh, the Phantom thing. But I haven't leveled this one up very much. Uh... Spike Spear, maybe? <laughs> oh, should we go for uh, Bleed Poison? Sure, why not? Hopefully he's not immune. Okay, medium roll, that's good. And let's change all these. Uh, and you. And... Oh, jump attack, yeah. And what else? Hmm. Damage cut for things not physical. So maybe this will protect me from that black fire. <laughs> uh, max stamina. What should we do? Poise? No, we got plenty of poise. <laughs> I guess... Stamina, yeah. We'll be doing a lot of uh, two, like, double attacks, so maybe that one's good. Oh, Mr. Wright, thank you. I caught your previous ask in the earlier video. For the Moog Spear, you can do three pulses like Moog does during the fight. Okay, by holding or multiple presses. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. I am loving this setup with these uh, two spears. Whoa! 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 Oh. <laughs> I thought I was in a room with no walls. <laughs> or doors, rather. Okay. Where is this? Oh, snail. Okay. Oh, is that a real wolf? No, okay. <laughs> it wasn't doing anything, so I was getting worried. Uh, oh, there's the uh, samurai guy again. Okay. Whoa! Okay, I know where we are. Uh, 
Oh, do I have the, uh, the flowers? Whoa! Don't mind me. Okay. Let's try the flowers. Ow! Okay, poison. And heal. Okay, flowers, do your thing. Come on over, man. <laughs> oh, come on. What is that combo? I don't think this guy can get poisoned. That's annoying. Alrighty, bleed it is then. Hup! Jump attack. Ouch. No, 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 no. Ah. Okay, poison's not working on him. <laughs> I wonder if things will amp up for Ever Crisis after near ends. That's an interesting question. They have some big stuff planned, it seems. Interesting, okay. Uh, Mr. Wright asks, are you liking Ever a Crisis, Starkey? It looks like this is me talking with no experience playing the game, but... <laughs> it looks good. What I like, just from observing it, is that I like the, um, kind of the rotating, like, limited time bosses that they have. I really enjoy that with uh, Brave Exvius, and I was really sad that they never really took advantage of that in uh, War of the Visions. Will, what? Maybe archers? Oh, I should, um... What do you call it? I should infuse my uh, spike spear with something different. Because the poison's not going to work. Uh, where are we? Okay. Okay, uh, oh, skill, yeah, what skill should we use? Oh, let's try the uh, phantom one. And then... This one? Oh, math. Don't make me do math, we'll do that one. <laughs> Let's see. I like the team building and the content is fun. Cabbage Hat even mentioned the boss is looking fun, which is true, but it's very sparse right now. Ah, that's sad to say. I should try your build at some point. What two weapons are you using? I'm using the Spike Spear. Uh, let's see. 
You can get these off of the uh, marionettes with the uh, spears. It has uh, bleed damage on it. And if you uh, use R2, you can get the strike damage. And then I'm using the uh, cross naginata, also has bleed in it. Uh, you get that from the Gale Tunnel, I think. <laughs> Alright, let's infuse this with something. Guess it doesn't matter. Okay, this will do that. Alrighty. Oh, uh, hang on. Talismans. Eh, it'll be good. Sorry, I'm reading the uh, comments. Oh, they've introduced limited time bosses in War of the Visions. That's cool. But there's only been two so far. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's try the boss again. I wonder if it's faster to jump in here. <laughs> I guess we can try that. Huh. Okay. <laughs> the uh, sound effect is funny. The uh, dying sound effect? Yeah. Okay, let's try the marionettes. Stamina, need stamina. Woo, woo. Okay, big O E. Oh! <laughs> okay, there we go. Alrighty. All it takes is the right build. Good job, guys. Whoa, 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 what, 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 what? Another one. Imagine, like, this guy's weak to poison. <laughs> that would be funny. Huh. Saw that one coming. Ow, 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 ow! Whoa! Oh, the rolling attack? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, bleed, bleed, bleed. Ow, 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 ow. Whoa. Stagger. <laughs> okay. Okay, there's not three of them, is there? Is that it? Oh, you are kidding me. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. <laughs> That's gotta be it, right? Okay, yes, yes, yes. 
What is this? Alright, good job, guy. And black fire magic, I guess. Cool. Uh, let's see what that thing is. Is it a talisman? Uh, maybe a key item. Not a shield. <laughs> oh, here it is. Let's see. Okay, with successive attacks, heal HP. That might be good for my build here, because I have the, uh, the dual wield. Interesting. I like it. Let's see. Cabbage, how was Nier in the early days? Are you asking about reincarnation? God's skin apostle looks like a pincushion with all the arrows stuck in it, yeah. That's part of one of the benefits of using the uh, marionettes. Um, I do want to make a video talking about kind of the history of Nier reincarnation. Like how it was uh, received by the uh, both the JP and the global communities. Uh, but yeah, reincarnation. Before it was released, you know, it was seen like every other mobile game that was attached to an IP. They're like, oh, it's just a uh, cash grab. <laughs> it's going to, uh, you know, get the collectors, the uh, fans, to uh, spend. And then when we actually, you know, investigate the game or play the game, it's not going to be very deep. And then in uh, JP, where it was released first by a few months, uh, that was uh, people's opinions of it. They looked at the battle, you know. I felt like the uh, the marketing was bad for the game. They made it look like it was an action game, but then people started playing it, and it turned out to be like a um, like a ATB uh, kind of RPG, like an active time battle turn-based battle system. And I think people were uh, kind of upset. Maybe they felt like. Um, they were deceived about what the uh, gameplay actually was, and so a lot of people dropped the game immediately, and then... Um, what was it? New Reincarnation is Boring was trending on Twitter <laughs> in Japan. Uh, wondering if similar complaints to Ever Crisis early days. I hear different complaints about Ever Crisis. Actually, I think like... Um, what do you call it? As far as running the game, I feel like the beginning of Nier Reincarnation was very smooth. While I feel like Ever Crisis has had more problems. Uh, but Ever Crisis had more of a problem with uh, power creep very suddenly. Whereas Nier Reincarnation was very slow to begin with, I thought. Okay, we were going to go off to the right until we found that cave. So let's continue going right. Oh, there's a dragon. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, lobster. Run, 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 run.
Just want to get to the castle. Oh, there's a church, maybe? Church will work for me. Okay, music is calming down. <laughs> Oh, what do we got? Oh, the first Marika Church. Very cool. Chalice, nice. Alright, let's rest here. Let's see if we get a cutscene. No. <laughs> oh, but we can talk to Melina. We can... Take a look at that. Okay, but comments first. Definitely miss the early collaborations. Yeah! They never ended up doing more of the, uh, kind of the console near game collaborations. See no Alice, yeah. Uh, Joy Costa says, I'm glad the global version stayed till the final chapter. Me too! It was looking a little iffy there, <laughs> early last year. I remember that I file followed Kyle McCarley, voice actor for 9S. He streamed Reincarnation until the end of Girl Monster. Cool, cool. Uh, he was complaining about the gameplay? Yeah. He expected a hack and slash type of game. Yeah. I don't know. I think about, like, what if... Like, what if the battle of Near Reincarnation looked like inside of the Scarecrow story? Like, very 2D, like, storybook, you know? I feel like if you made it like that, then maybe expectations would be more realistic about what the battle is. That would look more like a turn-based RPG. But, like, setting it up so that you have, like, a behind-the-camera sort of a 3D look, it does look like an action game, I think, from that point of view. And then also being able to run in battle. <laughs> I think that was a mistake to include. Because maybe that maybe also thought, or that also made people think that it was an action game when it was just kind of useless. Okay, let's talk to Melina. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share them with you? Sure. I have an interest. <laughs> In America's own words, Hark, brave warriors. Hark, my Lord Godfrey. We commend your deeds. Guidance hath delivered ye through each ordeal to the place ye stand. Put the giants to the sword and confine the flame atop the mount. Let a new epoch begin. An epoch glistening with life. Brandish the Elden Ring, for the age of the Erd Tree. Ah, beautiful language, my god. <laughs> How does From Software do it? Okay, we can talk to her again. We're almost there. The Flame of Ruin lies just ahead. I'm glad it was you I traveled with. I must tender my thanks to Torrent, too. Thank you, Torrent. Please continue to lend your aid. Till the end. Okay. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. If I have Spot enough. A moment. Share them with me. Ah, uh, no. Your thoughts. <laughs> your ambitions. The principles you would follow. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. I see a map here. I would like to get that. But I think we're going to call it a live stream. We've actually went 20 minutes over. <laughs> All right, we'll look at the comments real quick. Especially Automata was so fast-paced. Yeah, exactly. 
I think a lot of people were coming to reincarnation from Automata, and that didn't help either. A PGR near reincarnation would be awesome. Yeah, I hear a lot of good things about the gameplay of uh, Punishing Grey Raven. And Zed says the English voices are surprisingly good in this game. Yeah, they're good in all the FromSoft games. They have... They seem to have, like, a, uh, a relationship with a, uh, a company in uh, Great Britain where they, uh, they find actors and they do the, the direction. And I think that's really helping with uh, getting good performances for these games. I usually listen to Japanese voiceover in games because I feel like a lot of the nuance is lost in English. Yeah. There's another video I want to make kind of ranting about uh, translation. Like, things that you want to protect in doing translation. It's like the meaning, of course, but also, you know, tone, nuances, uh, all kinds of things. But yeah, that'll be a topic for a future video. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, I will stream tomorrow. I think I can do that. I don't know about the next couple days. We'll see. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care. Oh, sorry, one last thing. Uh, I am going to uh, make public the, um, what do you call it? My uh, reaction to the end of Near Reincarnation. I'll go do that now. <laughs> okay, see you later.